Good morning. Just testing the microphone. Works well. Thank you. So we are about to start, I suppose. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let me welcome you here at our uh, first session of the last day of Wikimania. Uh, my name is Pavel Bednařík. I am from uh, Wiki Wikimedia Czech Republic. I'm responsible for uh, partnership programs and also uh, for tutoring uh, and lecturing uh, for our uh, group of lecturers. And my colleague uh, Lucia Schubert is responsible for uh, for uh, educational programs and uh, for community programs. And I'm about to pass the microphone to her for the first part and then I will take it back soon. Okay. Thanks. Hello, good morning. Thanks a lot for coming. Uh, it's already a great job done that you are here. <laughs> and we are here for you today. So we would like to talk about the media literacy as a tool to reach for the collaboration of OPEN. And before I go there, just a brief orientation. Maybe I shouldn't stand here because I think it does a weird sound with the other mic. I'll just go here. Yeah, that's better. Um, so we run uh, our programming in the Wikimedia Czech Republic with uh, three, let's say, three legs. The educational programs, the programs for community and the programs for partnership. And within the educational programs, we have uh, the program Senior Rights Wikipedia. Then we have a programs for schools where we work with the teachers, with the university students and with the secondary education classes, let's say. So we have uh, two programs in there, students write Wikipedia and then uh, teach with Wiki. And in the open educational program, we try to focus on pretty much rest of the market, those who want to learn edit. And uh, there is quite significant group in that, and that's librarians and cooperation with libraries. So just that you have a little bit of picture what we do. And well, the last, let's say, three years, we went from uh, from promoting editing towards answering the needs in the educational community. We just learned that when we tell people, come and edit with us, it doesn't always work. They, it's not really sexy, to be honest. <laughs> Somehow, let's face it. Um, but when we try to identify what their needs are, what they need to cover in their education scope, um, and we spend the time talking about that and having a, a dialogue, then we can maybe be a really good answer for some of the needs in the education system. So that's what we try to do lately. Um, just that you have as well a little bit of image, what's the reality in the country. Uh, the media literacy is a cross-cut topic of the curriculum for elementary and high schools. Uh, currently, there are changes going on. We have some revisions. So it's combined with digital ICT and media literacy. It keeps changing <laughs> all the time. It's, it's, an, it's, it's a work in progress, basically. Uh, it also became uh, the main topic for the libraries. The librarians in Czech country, they have like a guild, basically. And for the years 2023 and 2024, they decided to focus on media literacy, mainly aiming at the target group 50 plus, but also for cooperation with schools and also the general public who comes to the libraries, which was really important thing for us. That that was like a moment we had uh, much more legacy to actually start to cooperate and work on the media literacy because we cooperate a lot with the libraries. There is a demand for building media literacy in the society and there is an ongoing bias in schools with using Wikipedia. We face it. Are you familiar with that situation in your country as well? Well, then I don't have to continue that much about it. And I will pass my uh, floor to Pavel now, right? I think we'll start... Oh, it's missing. No, it's nothing is missing. Okay, so it's later. Oh. It comes later. Or maybe we didn't refresh <laughs> the slides. Guys, can you refresh the slides? I think we... Maybe you put it on... Can is we it just, give it a, just give it a try if it's possible? Oh, you download it? Yeah. Well, I think we don't have to bother with huh? it. No. Hmm? <laughs> okay, just we'll continue. That's fine. 
so anyway, um, we would like to show you some uh, examples of how we target, uh, how we communicate with our uh, groups within media literacy framework. One of them is Portal uh, Media Literacy, which uh, we started uh, two years ago, almost two years ago. And this portal is uh, basically uh, an open gate to anyone who wants to start with media literacy, who wants to get informed what issues, what topics are part of media literacy framework. Uh, or if he wants to find out what is going on, we have a, a news feed in there uh, showing what kind of tutorials, what kind of lectures, classes, events, conferences going on. So this is a way how they can find it in one spot, in one place on Wikipedia. Um, as you can see, we have also article of the month and image of the month, as you know from the main page of Wikipedia, which is copied. Yeah. We will just change Once again, mind. okay. Sorry, guys. We had a small quiz for you, so that's why we are trying to refresh the slides. Uh, anyway, uh, the portal uh, is a place where we also have the list of articles. Uh, this list of articles is also used for schools. Uh, we, we are going to talk about it in a while, uh, because we want to get uh, students from different kind of schools engaged in media literacy. And one of the ways how to engage them is uh, to show them which articles are being published on media literacy issues and which articles are uh, still to be published or still to be created. So one of the goals, uh, oh yeah, one of the goals uh, is to show them uh, these kind of issues. And my question is, my question for you is, whether you can just guess which article out of these five articles is not created on Czech Wikipedia yet. It's one of the red links uh, in our list. Which, which article would you guess is, is still missing in Czech language? It's only one of them, not, not more. <laughs> uh, first... <laughs> Well, that would be quite a shame if we don't have an article on Creative Commons. Uh, no, your guess was great. Your guess was great. Fearmongering is still missing, but we have students from university uh, working on this article already, not finished yet. But all the other articles are being published. Also, General Digital Divide is being made uh, within a course uh, at the university. We will talk about it in a while. So uh, that's the way how we are trying to fill the gaps within media education, having this list, which is still getting longer and longer, obviously, but uh, we are slowly going there. And I think the most important articles are being really not only created, but also uh, they have proven uh, the quality of the articles. So we are working on it with the students. As you can see, uh, Editing on media education issues and articles is not that difficult. You can do it anywhere if you if you got the power. Um, this image is not a uh, coincidence. This is, this is an image from our Wikiversity page on media education. Because we, uh, we realize that it's not only about Wikipedia articles, it's also about resources. And Wikiversity is a good way how to provide resources for students, for teachers, or for anyone else who is interested in uh, media education uh, or developing media literacy, uh, even though it's still work in progress. So we are not, we don't have as many materials as we wish to, but we are trying to persuade the authors to publish it under Creative Commons licenses, uh, CC0 or any other uh, free licenses. So, um, yeah, what happened to, is working on. to practice <laughs> <laughs> is uh, that we actually connect the cooperation with school, with students and with the libraries, and it became sort of a multifaceted cooperation within the media literacy field. And we have now a few examples because what was really nice is we have now a few examples of regional cooperations where it is a library, school, us as a chapter, Wikimedia, and sometimes even other stakeholders such as a town hall or local municipality involved in uh, creating some activity together. And Pavel will just share these few examples. 
if we talk about uh, cooperation with schools, we are starting at elementary schools, as you can see from this image from uh, Vodňany, which is a small town in South Bohemia. Uh, we were asked by a local librarian uh, to get to Vodňany to organize a course for elementary school. And uh, we were just thinking how to start. It wasn't aimed at media literacy issues, even though we are tackling with them. We just decided to make it a simple way, uh, just to ask the students or the pupils uh, from elementary school, from the higher uh, class, uh, the higher uh, levels of elementary school, uh, to get Vodňany to Wikipedia. That was the name of the course. So we just told them, okay, so let's just look around. Let's see what kind of institutions you have in your town, what kind of cultural uh, organizations, what kind of uh, NGOs, uh, important personalities you have in Vodňany. And they are still not present at Czech Wikipedia. And they did this. And within this two days course, uh, we managed to at least start uh, to create the articles about uh, famous personalities who are missing at Czech Wikipedia, about uh, their colleagues, their friends, their parents, grandparents who uh, were famous citizens of the town and were not still published at uh, Czech Wikipedia. And also, uh, they, uh, some of them could just go outside and take pictures of the missing places uh, which don't have images on uh, Wikimedia Commons. So, I think it was also fun for them to explore their town from a different perspective this way. The interesting part was that we were actually asked by the local librarian to do it. So, so she was the one who initiated and, and made the contact with the school. Yeah, so now we are moving from South Bohemia to <coughs> East part of Czech Republic. This is uh, another town called Luhačovice. It's a spa town, famous spa town uh, near Slovak borders. And uh, we were, again, we were asked by the teacher from a local high school uh, to organize a course. Uh, as it was, as this, these students were already 16, 17 of age, we could just uh, challenge them to create articles, if they wish to, create articles on media education. Uh, so they decided for some important theoreticians of media education, they decided uh, for example, to uh, create an article about their school, which uh, was not part of media education issues, but still they felt like this is really important. And once we organized the course, they realized that, that their school is missing on Wikipedia. So they, they established a really well done and quality article about their schools, including images of uh, the work because it's a uh, crafts uh, school. They are they have, they can graduate from different crafts, so they made pictures of the pieces of art uh, their uh, friends, students already made. So uh, you can find it on Czech Wikipedia. And finally, the last grade, uh, we have the university students uh, involved, and one of the ways how we uh, get them engaged is uh, Media Olympic Games, which uh, took place already two years, and uh, we hope we will uh, be partners uh, of this project uh, also next year, even though there are some uh, changes in organization of this event. It takes place in Ostrava, which is a city nearby uh, Katowice, uh, and uh, the local research library uh, decided to organize this Olympic Games, uh, and they have different disciplines. The students uh, attended from the whole Czech Republic, they had different disciplines and also they could uh, meet with uh, with uh, the way how to upload free images on Wikimedia Commons or they could also edit some articles on uh, Wikipedia. So the important thing is, uh, we also started with this claim at the very beginning, the important is the first contact with Wikipedia, with free licenses, with free content, uh, and it's not that important to create articles. It's it, it's about the first touch. positive, first positive, positive experience. Touch. Yes, I exactly. always say it has to be positive, whatever it is. Yeah. Now. So and yeah, the, to to conclude a little bit on the educational part, um, we as well have a cooperation currently with the two universities, uh, the Charles University in Prague and a university, Masaryk University in Brno. And they both have something which is called Institute of Information Studies or Albarian Studies. The names are pretty much similar. So last two years we managed to start two courses, uh, semester courses. Usually it's a teaching in blocks, so it doesn't necessarily mean we come every week. 
uh, it's a quite unique as well because we share the teaching with the teachers from the university. So there is always a partner for us um, from the university who, who are librarians as well themselves. And um, we carry on with the subject together. It's really just about contributing and learning about Wikipedia. So it's not a subject oriented on something else. It has, to, it has been put in the system and it's about editing and learning about Wikipedia and Wikimedia Project. Um, was there something else? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and um, the students should be future librarians and information officers. Um, we also realize that uh, we are starting to be asked if we are able to provide um, education, workshops and trainings in open licenses, in the CC and in like just to, like just making people the general understand how to <laughs> when you enter the internet can you download a picture can you copy something in the internet how it is on Wikipedia and Wikimedia projects so we actually run uh, online and offline trainings in that for librarians we in implement it in the uh, school curriculum as well and uh, we created, as, as a result of one of those uh, webinars and trainings we did this spring, we created as well a, a landing page within the uh, Wikipedia page, vp.autorskepravo. Uh, so, and it's about the, the licenses. And we, we've, we've got like 60, was it 60, 60 questions about different topics about the licensing. And we tried to answer all of them together with the National Library. And now this is accessible to anybody who wants to use it and to find their answers, because this was actually really missing on the market. And we plan to continue with that in future, to update it. So what basically happened is that uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic is becoming to be a recognized stakeholder on the market of media education and, and digital literacy as well. And um, it, like we kind of aim on the long-term impact on the field a little bit. We try to work a bit more competence-based to have kind of holistic view on the things. And we benefit and profit a lot now for being partners of the something we call DigiCoalice. So DigiCoalition, coalition of different organizations and institutions under the Ministry of School and Education. Um, we are part of two other platforms and uh, our country is organizing something like a digital week every November and we are now one of the recognized partners bringing a lot of content into that week, the program. So this is kind of, and that, that, that all kind of accelerated within basically two years by us allowing ourselves to, to focus on media literacy maybe a little bit more than just promoting the editing itself. Would you like to? I can continue. Uh, this is one of the uh, examples how we provide uh, methodology for working with Wikipedia uh, at schools. It's not directly connected to media education activities, but it's definitely uh, the way how to reach schools and offer them uh, unique specific content being uh, tailored for, for them, for the teachers. Uh, this handbook is called Uch Wiki, Teach with Wiki. Uh, it's uh, been created by Jaroslav Mašek, by one of the uh, high school teachers in Brno, but also uh, Wikimedians, uh, important member of our community. And he created five activities for schools, which are being uh, properly described in this book. And they are made for this 45 minutes of uh, for 45 minutes hour, which which you usually get uh, within uh, within school uh, curriculum or school school plan, and you can easily tackle uh, issues like referencing on Wikipedia, how to how to create them, how to research them. You can tackle the issue, or one of the examples, one of the activities is uh, creating an encyclopedic uh, article because this is the discipline which uh, most of the students don't understand at the very beginning. So, and there are a few more uh, included. So this is just to sum it up. So until now we have the portal, we have the Wikiversity, which is sort of connected to it. We run university courses um, for future librarians. We run training and workshops uh, with, within the program Students Write Wikipedia. And yeah, we are as well training and providing the 
in the direction of the Teach with Wiki and consult teachers if they have maybe some of their own ideas. And now and we now. have four minutes to go and we decided to open it for your questions. So this is us, Lucia, Pavel, Clara, our general director also here with us. So you can ask any one of them, uh, any one of us uh, on any questions related to media literacy or to our activities. Yes, please. We need the mic. Yeah, we have the third one, but... Um, yeah. uh, thank you. Uh, that is fantastic and very inspiring. I'm coming from the same field, and my two questions, probably of many, would be how you onboarded the Ministry of Education on the first place to be a partner, and what type of partnership it is. Only institutional support, like, okay, we support, we are not against, or it is real involvement with any capacity. And the second one is... Is there any tension between the projects and some experienced legacy uh, editors uh, in, in the Czech uh, Wikipedia, especially regarding notability, because you've mentioned some of the articles you are having on schools or NGOs, and this is exactly this field where this could uh, emerge. Thank you. Okay, I'll start with the first answer, maybe Lucy will... Or... Okay, so, Clara. Hey, hey. Um... Uh, I must say that like Wikimedia Czech Republic environment is uh, a lot like uh, NGO driven in the terms of social services or even like maybe some extra curriculum for the schools. So um, for us it's not that essential to be in partnerships with uh, the Czech Ministry of Education. Sometimes it even could give us some like... Um, uh, limits that we don't appreciate. So the way we choose, and Lucia then probably will uh, add more, it's to choose like informal um, uh, associations that more like connect uh, educators and this like, let's say more progressive ways in Czech educational system, because we are still uh, facing the fact that there was no real uh, um, uh, say it in Czech. No, like um, that our uh, education system is still like quite old, and yeah. we didn't have the that, reform. That's the revision going on. We didn't I was talking have about proper it. reform in Czech Republic, even though, of course, like Czech educators are great and whatsoever, but the reform was hasn't there be yet. So I think we are in advance of that. So uh, Pavel like has a lot of experience with Czech Minister of School from his like other uh, work. So this is how it is now. And my but colleague tell the, the most. Can I just add to that? Yeah. Because there was sure. a logo of ministry and that's why you, I guess you ask. And just to make it clear, we are part of platforms. And one of the platforms is under the Ministry of School and Education and that's the Digi Coalition. So our way, how to contribute is being in the guild, being recognized within the stakeholder platforms. And one of the platforms is under the ministry. And we are mostly aimed at digital literacy uh, in schools. This is why we are part of the Digi Coalition. I know it's bit complicated uh, and you have to search the back ways, yes. Second part of the question you wanted to answer? So we can discuss later maybe, so let's continue with the other. But yeah, there is a clash, but we have some solutions for that. <laughs> and you can come to talk to us at the coffee place if you want to know how we hack it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was uh, very interested in that part you had on the Creative Commons uh, bit because uh, I come from Geneva, Switzerland, and I feel that there's a bit of a deadlock because by default, everything that's produced in schools and by teachers for teaching, you know, as part of our job, is release, is, is under Creative Commons NC licensing. And so if we have classes, well, I, mean, I work with students, we create articles and do stuff like that, but I'm just a random guy doing it with my kids. And it's not an official part of the program, and there's this licensing problem. And uh, Creative Commons, I don't know if they would, they don't accept NC uh, media. So I was trying to figure out a way to, to, to solve that issue 
so that it can become a, a like more official part of the curriculum? Well, just a quick answer. NC uh, part of the license is part of the game, and we have to explain it as crucial uh, piece of the open culture. That's that's it. I mean, if they don't don't want to publish anything uh, with uh, with, uh, or if they want to publish it with NC. Uh, bit of the license, then we hardly can do anything about it. But we are trying to persuade them that it's not a big threat for the schools or for the makers uh, to publish it without it. That's that's the short version. Thanks a lot, everybody. We are running out of the time. We have to leave the other people to run their session. But if it's okay, we can just walk out here and you can have your questions. We are very much here for the rest of the day. We welcome the questions. Thanks a lot. Come to have a coffee with us. We are here for you. Thanks.